Hi everybody, today we will be talking about um, reflection probes and light probe group. So to get started, I'm going to first create a 3D object, a cube. I'm going to zero it out. I'm going to make it, I'm going to scale it, make it a little bigger. Just so we could have a scene real quick. And we could see the light probes in action. Okay, so we're going to add another cube. Or we could add a sphere. Let's add a, let's add a sphere. Again, zero it out. Let's duplicate this sphere. We'll add two spheres. Okay. Now, to make this, or to see this work a little better, what we're going to do is we're going to add materials real quick. Later on, I'll, I'll show you how to make a material, but it's real simple. You just go to create, go to material, uh, name your material, anything you want, so anything. And then uh, you just drag your material to whatever object you want. So let's say for me, I'm going to add a red material. I'm going to turn up the metallic and the smoothness. And as you see, it turns real dark. Later on, we'll change that. So we'll add it to the sphere and we'll duplicate this. To duplicate stuff, you could just push Control D on your uh, keyboard or you could right click and uh, there should be a duplicate. If not, there's, let's see. Uh, actually, there's not. So you could either uh, push Control D or Control C and then control V so for copy and paste and then uh, after that we're gonna add this material to this one now let me make this a little smaller and for the first material we're gonna change the color actually to let's say a bluish color and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding uh, the reflection probes actually you know what let's add a material for the ground put this one for the ground we'll make it not metallic we'll give it a, like a little shiny surface actually so um right here you can see the little example right here uh, it's a little model of the sphere and as you can see, there's a little shine to it. So we'll be using that. And then now we could actually use the reflection probes. Uh, so you go to light, reflection probe. Now it adds this box with these components. It has a transform. It has uh, this box right here, which lets you edit the actual reflection probe. So we can make it smaller. Uh, however we want and then uh, this one lets us move it anywhere we want uh, so the type we have three different types there's baked so this is just uh, every time you bake it it will update if you do not bake it, it won't update uh, custom so if you choose custom you could actually choose a cube map right now I'll show you what a cube map is when we create um, when we bake a lighting or our light map and then uh, there's also real time so as you can see when you put real time you can see the shininess the reflections everywhere you can see uh, both objects reflecting off each other as you can see now you can't see them uh, updating in real time uh, the reason for that is that right here underneath type there's refresh mode and as you can see it's on awake so this will happen every time it's, um, so every time you play it, the first thing that happens is awake, which is the very first thing. And, um, so you could see it kind of update as soon as it starts, uh, playing. So, um, you probably didn't see it update, but let's say I move this fear up a little bit push play and you should see it update on this blue sphere well it did not update but if you push every frame 
and you move the sphere you could kind of see it right here in the blue uh, sphere and also in the red one you could see it when you get closer you can see the reflections even though the reflections are kind of off right now uh, but they're working so if you go back to reflection you could also do all faces at once individual faces or no time slicing so all faces at once it gets all the faces individual faces it gets each individual face so depending on how much faces it is it could uh, take a while or no time slicing so if we go to no time slicing and we go back to our spheres uh, we could kind of see it a little better updating and then uh, after that we have uh, let me turn this off we have runtime settings now runtime settings uh, we could have multiple reflection probes so I could duplicate this one and have another one over here and then I could have uh, uh, the importance so I could have this one uh, to be number one or uh, four or five whatever you want now here is the intensity I could uh, change the intensity of the actual uh, reflection probe so I could make it real intense I could uh, turn it down whatever I want uh, box projection if I click this this uh, box projects or the reflection the box how can I explain all right so the box itself will be the reflection so this uh, box will be the reflection as you can see if I take it away you can't see anything and as soon as I start touching objects the box ends up reflecting everything around it and you can see that uh, we got like this glass material um, because of the reflection probes and uh, after that we could also adjust the size uh, any what um, right here in the actual inspector if we don't want to change it uh, with this little uh, gadget and drag it out we could also change it down here the box size and also the offset so we can move it around and um, yeah just play around with it depending on how uh, you have your scene you could change this cube map capture settings to different resolutions so you could have it at 16 and you can see it's all blurry the 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 reflection or you could have it real high and you could see it reflecting really good but just know that depending on what uh, resolution you have it can affect uh, your performance so just play around with that and all these other settings HDR high definition uh, render renderer uh, you can have that on or off this is the shadow distance if you want to have uh, no shadow distance or uh, have some shadow distance as you can see uh, right here in this little model you can see the shadow distance changing um, so we'll just change that back and then uh, we don't have to use the actual skybox we could use a solid color and as you see when we use a solid color uh, it actually changes to that color so we could use that instead of using the skybox and then um, background of course this you only would change this if you're not using the skybox calling mask so calling mask if you don't want something to get affected by this reflection probe all you do is assign let's say like the sphere is assigned to uh, a default layer you could also make layers uh, and then uh, if you don't want it to affect it you just click it so right here when you have it on uh, real time this shows up baking of this reflection probe should be initiated from the scripting API because the type is uh, real time so I could also you know have it at baked and then uh, when I have it at baked I could go to my lighting settings if you don't know where that's at you could go to window um, rendering lighting it'll bring this uh, tab up and uh, usually a lot uh, on default the auto generate button is clicked I like to have it off because uh, when you're updating your scene it 
usually generates light and it takes a while and it could uh, affect the performance of uh, you actually making your game not the game itself but you making it so I usually check this off auto generate and then I'll actually click it myself so I'll click it right here and I'll put bake reflection probes and then it'll start baking all the reflection probes and there you go it's back to how it kind of was uh, sometimes it might take a while especially if the resolution is really high earlier I had it at 2048 and it took me probably two three minutes just to get the same level of detail well more level of detail but with the same scene same game objects and everything so uh, I think that's that uh, you could use uh, occlusion calling and uh, clipping planes so you could have it uh, depending on the camera and I talk about clipping planes a little bit in another video um, I'll post that so you could check that out now that's that for reflection probes now real quick I'm gonna do uh, uh, light probes so I'm gonna duplicate this ground I'm gonna move it over I'm gonna grab both of them move them kind of over here to where the spheres are at just a better and now I'm gonna duplicate this material and uh, change it to let's say a red and I'm gonna add it to this side and now we have two materials um, on both sides now reflection probes or I mean light probes what they are is uh, they pretty much capture uh, lighting and they store it in the light maps that way when these uh, spheres go between scene or between um, different colors of lights uh, it will get stored and um, it helps on performance and uh, so let's just get started with this so when you create a light probe group this is gonna come out these little uh, squares with circles on each corner the way you uh, would use this is you would position it making sure that these circles do not clip on the ground because if they clip on the ground it might affect the light map and do some crazy things uh, for the light probe group component all it has is the edit light probes it has the show wireframe remove a ringing and uh, selected uh, probe position this and it's easy to edit now I you could add probes delete them uh, delete the ones that are selected you could select all you could duplicate selected uh, you could do anything you want uh, you could also move uh, each probe depending on which one you select so what I do is I'll usually select them I could drag my mouse and select all the ones I want and then I'll just pull it to the side and then I'll do the same thing um, for these two right here move it over here and you just pretty much position everything on each corner of course uh, you could have uh, many uh, light probes or light probe groups and then uh, for these top ones what I'll do also is I'll um, move them a little upwards for this scene I don't really have to but um, it's a good habit so when you have players or anything like that or you have larger rooms like a big building or something you make sure you cover uh, your bases and then after that I'll grab these I'll drag them over here and then um, grab each one drag them uh, to the side Do the same with the other one and yeah you pretty much get the idea just do the same thing and then after you're done with all that now see how my light probes are kind of messed up so you got to kind of make sure that uh, you're positioning them right because if not like right here it's an, just an example scene but when you're doing your scene this could actually mess a lot of things up so especially if this is inside a building or something like that so just make sure uh, they're kind of lined up but for this example it don't really matter 
So what I'm going to do also is I'm going to duplicate this with control D or you could actually duplicate selected right here and then I'm going to drag it towards the middle do the same thing duplicate selected move it towards this side and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all these on the left side duplicate them and move them towards the middle now what I'm why I, the reason I'm doing this is that as you can see right here it goes from white to red and there's a light change you you want to do this uh, always when there's a light change you always want to put reflection probes so the the probes can calculate that data and of course this is just for non static objects so uh, static objects they will be uh, baked in the light map and uh, also if you have shadows you want to put these on your shadows uh, if you have like a wall and it's casting a shadow, uh, you would want to do that. So that way when uh, your game object goes in the shadow, uh, it will get dark. So after that, once you got your light probes uh, positioned, all you got to do is uh, bake it. So go to the lighting and then uh, hit the generate lighting. And once it's generated, and you grab one of your spheres you could see um, all these little circles in the scene view as you can see you can't see it in the game view um, and when you move them around it will get uh, the light probes positions and it will adjust the color accordingly to the light probe so this is a red material this is probably not too good to show but an example of but if I bring this blue material and I start moving it towards the white you will be able to I don't know if you could kind of see it kind of brightens up and then of course the more we move towards the brighter surface the better it gets now sometimes let's say when you're moving your game object all of a sudden it gets dark and it's not supposed to it's a well lit uh, area or something like that your problem might be that your light probes are actually uh, in the floor so that's why it actually gets dark but uh, yeah so you could see it working and but that's how light probes work and um, if you have any questions let me know in the comments below um, Later on, I'll show you guys better examples of light probe groups and reflection probes when I'm making a 3D game tutorial. I just wanted to cover real quick, just in case there's anybody out there that uh, was curious or was struggling with it right now. Uh, I wanted them to kind of know uh, what's going on. But if you have any questions, like I said, leave it in the comments below. I would love to answer them. Um, and uh, in the next video, I will probably finish off this hierarchy. When you right click the hierarchy, all these little options. I've already talked about 3D objects, 2D object effects. Uh, now I finished talking about all lights. Of course, I've talked about the camera, how you could just click this and add a camera. Uh, next, I'll probably talk about audio and video. So if you want to see that, uh, stay tuned, subscribe so you can see that when it comes out. And after that, I will probably end up making a, a video about the UI, everything about the UI. So uh, stay tuned for that. Like I said, subscribe and please like the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you once again.